Here are my ingredients all laid out. So for the base, we have a cup of almonds, which we're going to chop up to create a crunchy base. Also going to add a cup of almond meal and about 50 grams of butter and a bit of salt to taste. And for the filling, then we've got some decaf coffee and some lint uh, chocolate. Similarly, about 50 grams of kofa. So that's all designed to hold the base together with the kofa. Just a trick, we're gonna melt the kofa first and then add the chocolate because it's got a higher melting point and it'll all work better for you. Uh, so we're gonna use about 250 grams of coconut yogurt. And together with the Philly tree cheese, uh, use two 250 gram uh, blocks there. And also we're gonna sweeten it with about a quarter of a cup of the monkhouse fruit there. Uh, the topping we'll be making separately and today I'm going to try a almond and peppermint topping and that should go with the almond base. Uh, pouring cream which I'll whip up and sour cream uh, just to create the right consistency. Using a spring form plan which I have uh, already put baking paper in and sprayed it there with some extra virgin olive oil and so that's everything. grams in so we can see here that's holding together spread it around I'm going to take a plate or a cup in this case we're going to Right here, so I'm going to use that. Press it around the inside. Get nice and flat on the bottom. Put this aside. 500 grams of Philly warmed up in the microwave about a minute. Light chop. 50 grams of dark chocolate and similar amount of coke in. About 250 grams of coconut yogurt in. Dessert spoon of decaf coffee. About a quarter cup of monk fruit. Good. Just 
checking to make sure it's all smooth. It's looking pretty good. I'll, I'll give that a little bit more off camera. And as you can see, it's just off, off stiff. Take out a cake pan. Cheese in the microwave a little bit longer. But I've just got it right to be able to work it with that. So there we go. That's now going into my vegetable steamer. And straight on the gas top for an hour. Now for the topping, there's about 300 grams or 300 mils of cream left in this. 100 mils of sour cream left in this. In about a teaspoon of peppermint, about a teaspoon of marzipan essence, almond essence, and about a dessert spoon of monk fruit slash stevia. Soft peaks. Okay, it's cooled down for about 15 minutes. I'm just trying to snag it out of here, it's still pretty warm. There we go. Alright, so now I'll leave it cool a bit longer, maybe another 15 minutes. Now the topping prepared earlier. Look at It's going to go straight in the fridge for about eight hours. And the final result is delicious. What a great topping.